guys, Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a very, very easy, simple to do intro. Check it out. Alright, so that was, uh, well, it was cool, but really, really simple. But you know, I like the simplicity of it. It, uh, with the, gr or what am I trying to say? The texture. Uh, I used it really brings it out and makes it look uh, I don't know what you say modern looking I don't know but here we go I'm in S Sony Vegas Pro 9 all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out putting in a texture uh, the texture I used was from uh, my very own product Sony Vegas tutorials and essentials which you can find at broadproductions.net which you'll see a uh, a link in the description for that website and where to buy it uh, it comes with a bunch of tutorials that you'll only find on the DVD and textures and sound effects and stuff. Everything you need to get started making videos and intros in Sony Vegas. So I'm going to use this intro, or what, not intro, I can't speak English today. Uh, this texture, Gross Wall. I'll go ahead and drag that into Sony Vegas. Pop that in here. Now it has these black bars because it's not the right uh, dimensions as our, as our composition. So I'll go to Event Pan Crop. Oh, went out of the screen. And I will click, oh, the button's already not clicked. <laughs> right here, it's a lock aspect ratio button. Make sure that is not clicked and turned off. So um, I will push up on these edges just a little bit. So it's, if you watch right here, it sinks up, gets rid of that bar, black bars, and then comes down and makes these. And we'll have it just about there. Looking good so far. Um, now let's go to the video effects tab and go to glow and we'll add in just reset to none and uh, we're going to bump up the intensity to about wherever you want your video to start I mean you can have it all white or you can do what I did and just enough where these black blobby algae looking things are, are showing up and we want our suppression on ooh, zero and then we'll go two seconds into the timeline and bring the intensity down just not all the way down just but just a little bit more and maybe bring the suppression up just a little bit like that so two seconds in the timeline will create it to go from a big boom and hold your uh, fingers on control alt and shift and scroll with the mouse wheel to go frame by frame and we can see that it slowly fades back into our image. Whoop de doo. Now, let's add our text. So we're going to go to insert text media. Oh, we're going to drag this down and then drag this below it. So now we have our text on a, its own layer and above the, the texture so you know you can see it. So type, oh, wait, this is out of the screen. Um, we're going to type in what we want, bra productions. You can type in, you know, of course you don't have to type in bra productions. I mean, unless you want to. I mean, you can always do that. And I use the font called Hera Bear. You can find it on Google. Just type in Hera Bear font or look for fonts, and uh, I'm sure you can find a website with a creative font that suits what you're doing. Um, so we're going to click Draw Shadow in the Effects tab and go down to Placement, and we're going to move it down to the corner you know just kind of an artsy feel you don't always want everything in the center let's get some rule of thirds kind of going in and uh, we'll pop it in right there boom oh wait no it's a little bit too low because you can see the P on that black we don't want that so we'll go back and we'll lift it up just a tad perfect um, <clears throat> now let's go to the transitions tab and let's add a linear wipe to broad productions well, first let's create a fade that we can apply the transition to by just clicking in the corner and you'll see this funny thing come up. And we'll go and drag it out about, I don't know how long that is, about a quarter of a, oh, I got a text message. Um, <laughs> so uh, you'll, you'll pull the uh, transition thing, God, I'm totally brain dead now uh, after that. <laughs> okay, back to business. All right, we're going to pull this over to make the transition. We're going to go to linear wipe. We're going to go to left, right, hand, hard edge. I almost said hand. Um, click that, and we're going to feather it on one. 
so it's nice and smooth we don't actually want a hard edge so if we control alt shift again scroll with the mouse wheel we can see bra productions fades in uh, as the the glow is dying down because we don't want to do it where uh, you know the glow goes away then bra productions comes then it ends you know that would just be really boring so make sure you have the bra or your text uh, fade in kind of sort of when the glow is ending so it all flows nicely um, then it's kind of boring after the intro of the intro <laughs> and uh, so I thought let's go to video effects and add a, uh, a grain to the bra production just to have a little movement but not too much um, so we're gonna go to film grain and go to uh, let's just put extreme why not um, <laughs> Um, granularity needs to be at zero, so it's very small grains. Um, chromatic, chromaticity, sure, why not? I can't really speak English. Uh, we want it to be all the way down because we want it to be black and white. If you pull this up, it'll be like, you know, that colorful grain. Um, and then, uh, we'll go to amount and we'll bring it down just, just enough where it's still a white text, but... Uh, you can see just a little green. You don't want too much like like that because you know, that would just look ridiculous. But, I mean, it's all personal decisions. You know, you got to get creative with these things. Um, got to make it your own. So if we play that back, you can see just a little movement. I don't know if you'll be able to, ugh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the intro. I can't even talk. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, through this tutorial. But there's a little movement in the bra productions and then from there we will fade out the intro we'll uh, fade it out about what is this about a second oh no make it about a second and 19 frames why not um, we'll right click and go to fade type and we'll click the one that kind of curves up oh wait never mind I want to curve down yeah that's the one so it it goes down fast and then slowly fades away then we'll make the bra productions fade half the length of that. We'll right click, click fade type, and click fade up. So now, <clears throat> if we scroll through it frame by frame, you'll see the background fades away, and then the bra productions fades away right after that. And it, it adds just a nice touch where, like, you know, it goes away and it really impacts the text of whoever you are and whatever little productions you're trying to, uh, you know, enhance with an intro. So, um, that's about it. Uh, you know, you can always change the colors, add a different background, and, you know, add like a colorful field, and then make Brawl Productions pink and purple, or maybe throw in some polka dots if you can find out how to do that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks and behind the scenes uh, footage of how I make my tutorials and all that, check out my daily vlogs at... Uh, youtube.com slash alex is all good there's a link that'll pop up right about now uh, it would mean a lot to me if you guys check it out um and yeah you can also look at our website broadproductions.net to find out how to buy sony vegas tutorials and essentials uh, i promise you will love it I promise <laughs> so that's about it guys uh have a fantastic day